Alright you guys, how are we, what is going on, and welcome back to another video. Welcome back. Well, welcome to Rugby Player Reacts to Saquon Barkley. Um, look, I'm not going to act like I don't know what's happened. Uh, a couple of days ago I, I got the bad news that Saquon Barkley, before I'd even seen him take a snap this year, has torn his ACL and be out for the year. Right. Well, it just goes back to the, the old uh, argument that they, they hammer their running backs too fucking hard. Too many touches, too often, it's going to wear the body down. Or, maybe it was just a freak accident. We're about to find out. I haven't actually seen it yet. Um, I haven't seen any of his plays. So basically, guys, today we're going to... We're going to... Well, I'm thinking we're going to just make one video, but we might make two. Who knows? So basically, I just want to get my head around how he performed in the first week, at least. Because I feel like he got 100 yards. I'm not completely sure. Maybe that was Jonathan Taylor. And then I want to get my head around his injury and, you know, basically the prognosis and, and, and what... How he feels. I want to see an interview of him talking about his injury because that's going to be important to me. And hopefully that's the kind of thing that interests you as well. So with that being said, let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is look up his name. Oh my god, you fucking joking me, bro? Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Stephen A on Saquon Barkley News. You weren't going to win anyway, Max. I'm sorry to rub it in. Mm, okay, well, here's something I didn't know. Saquon Barkley came in at number 31 on the top 100 NFL players of 2020 list. And that's a list... I'm going to be working my way through, starting tomorrow. So I think I'll leave that one. We've got Saquon Barkley torn ACL injury versus the Bears. Alright, we're going to open that. Pat McAfee reacts to Saquon Barkley tearing his ACL. Uh, okay, yep, he did... Uh, what did he do? Fuck's sake. Saquon Barkley, 2020, week one. Saquon Barkley, low lights versus the Steelers. What are you talking about? He had a disappointing performance. How, how, how disappointing are we talking here? How disappointing? Really? So there's no highlights. There is no Saquon Barkley highlights except for that one hurdle. Are you joking? What? That is fucking... That is so disappointing, guys. I can't believe it. He's out and he hasn't even done anything. God, that's disappointing. Especially when he's your, one of your favourite players. <sighs> what are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? Well, we're going to watch his hurdle. We're going to watch his injury. And then we're going to move on to basically... Well, what I'd say would be the, the next coming of Saquon Barkley, really, although he's pretty much the same age, and that is Jonathan Taylor. So let's, let's get into this. Um, right. Right, we've got two Barkleys, both on, uh, both on the Giants squad, believe it or not. Okay, yeah, he hasn't done much. Fuck, he ain't done much at all. What the hell? Okay. Uh, 15 attempts for six yards... And six receptions for 60 yards. So it seemed like in that first week against the Steelers, he played well, he played much more effectively as a receiver. And the second week against the Bears, in which he injured himself, he's got four attempts for 28 yards, an average of seven, longest of 18. So in total for the year, 19 attempts for 34 yards. 19 attempts, 19 rushing attempts for 34 yards, what's that, an average of, shit, just under 2 per attempt, and then you've got 6 receptions for 60 yards, so, shit, no touchdowns, I can't believe that, I guess the only glimmer of hope would be, would be for Barkley to somehow, some way, 
by the grace of God, recover early enough to come back. But I don't think that's going to happen. So anyways, okay. So he's done absolutely hardly anything this year. We've got his injury. We've got Pat McAfee's reaction to it. And I'm going to... I'm going to have a look at his disappointing performance against the Steelers in week number one. So let's watch that first. First carry for Barkley is not bad. See, on another day, he would have fucking palmed that guy. He would have palmed that guy, completely thrown him into the ground face first, and then probably ran all the way up the other way and in for a touchdown. But today it just didn't happen. That defender latched on, didn't he? Try to slow down. Let's watch it again. Good D. Traffic in the middle. Almost. Shows that leg drive to get about a yard and a half. Uh, three man rush delivers over the middle. It's intercepted. Uh, bounced first in and out of the hands. Again. All right, so that was oh, one reception. To be a not. Threat the Where is he? Season. Yeah, again, move him around. Move he and Evan. Shit, man, he's, he's actually in the wide out position. To make the defense kind of keep their eyes on him. And another well thrown ball by Daniel Jones. That's two. That his two best players See, the thing is, even if he caught that, he was about to get smashed. Although, I don't think the ball was... Although, I think the ball could have been thrown on the money a little bit better. In fact, a guy like Barkley is going to be turning around looking for that ball, and he's going to be in the air wanting to bang either his left or right foot in. In that motion, in that one-touch motion, right? Grab the ball, come down, bang, spin, step, accelerate. But he didn't get a chance to do anything. Have dropped when it's been right. Oh, no, 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 no. Second down. Oh, that's fucking good D, bro. That's just good D. He was looking for a huge contract year and he got there in a hurry. Yeah, he, he has such speed coming off the edge right here. Well, don't worry about his speed. Look at Barkley's speed. Keep in mind, he's 270 pounds. What? <laughs> 270? TJ Watt. On third and 14, Jones. Dumps it to Barkley. See, I like seeing this. Barkley with a little bit of space. But the Steelers are shutting him down, man. Tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Tyson Alawalo beat the block and dropped Saquon for a three yard loss. Back there, then Juju Smith Schuster. Saquon. What the fuck? What is going on here? For a three -yard loss. Who's their quarterback? Daniel Jones. Hang on, this is going to be offside. Beat the block and dropped Saquon for a three yard loss. Back there. Right, so before Barclays even got the ball, you know, 48 is already closing in on him. We've got this guy over here who's managed to get behind the uh, the right tackle. Smith Schuster, Saquon hasn't had much space tonight. Not much space at all. Dupree has been a serious problem for this. Barclay looking to make an impact as a runner once again. There's nothing there. Ah, this D, bro. Wow. Whatever it takes, right? Barkley. Trying to get the corner. Has to earn a couple of yards. Alex Highsmith. Barkley makes a cut. See, that was that could have been an opportunity for some yards, right? Where is he going? Where is he going? Where is he going? He's got space, bro. This guy should be taking him. There's really no reason why any of these Steelers players should be able to break free from that offensive line, right? So effectively, he should have some space. Barkley. But this 96 just absolutely shoves that offensive lineman to the left. And to be honest, Barkley probably made the wrong move. He, he didn't need to step there. He could have backed himself, got through that gap, I reckon. Alex I think he could have. Smith. I think he could have got through that gap right Barkley. there, but stepped. There is just nothing open for business in the interior of that defensive line. Game of inches, man. Game of split-second decisions. And has been fighting for space all night. Off the Saquon, but over his head. Stumbling near the goal line. Saquon pushing coverage. Shit. How did the Steelers' defense shut down Saquon Barkley? Well, 
pretty sure I could probably tell you that, but I'm not going to. So, now we're going to watch his... I mean, that was pretty disappointing, right? That was... F uh, they probably... <laughs> they probably made it look worse than it was, although, you know, he did finish the game with pretty much negative yards. So, there's not going to be too many highlights, but in this game, it looks like it's the first play of the second quarter. Chicago's up 10 points to nil. It's the second down, second and 10. And I don't know what kind of play it's going to be. Possibly a pass. Barkley has been injured again. At the end of this run, right there, going out of bounds with a little... Fuck yeah. He stamped his foot in the ground and got pushed. His top, the top half of his body got pushed uh, laterally when his foot was in the ground. Stuck in the ground too. It had no, had no leeway. It was stuck. Let me see if I'm correct in thinking that. So his right knee. Let's have a look. He grabs at his right knee and the game Fuck's sake. Right. Okay. One so the, the defender ca the defender latches hold of him, right? It's fucking good D, bro. Good D once again. I mean, these you know, this cornerback's Is it a cornerback? I'm not sure. So that's where it happens, right there. He sticks his right foot in the ground. He's gonna try and throw this guy off of him. He, he thinks he's going to be able to stick his foot in the ground and throw this guy off of him, but there's just too much power, too much force from the defender, which probably surprised him, to be fair. Or maybe the defender just has a nice grip, you know, underneath those pads. Yeah. He tried to stick his foot in the ground and shove this guy off, but in that motion... He stuffed his knee. That's how I see it anyway. What do you guys think? Absolutely heartbreaking news. We've been through it. is out for the rest of the game with a knee injury. Solomon Thomas for the 49ers defensive front is not mm, Fuck, you can see it, eh? You can see it. You can see that that, that that knee is just not meant to... I mean, the, his leg's meant to be up and down like this, right? It was like that for a period of time. It's just, nah, not good. And you think, I mean, you think... Ligaments, right? Tendons. ACL, MCL, PCL, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we actually, in my personal training course, were able to see and feel what a tendon and a ligament felt like, right? Especially a ligament. Um, we actually broke open a knee joint. Not of a human, but of a cow. Functions are the same. The strength and the look of, of tendons and ligaments are the same. And I'm telling you what, guys, to actually... <laughs> To actually apply enough force to tear a ligament, or to complete, yeah, to, to, to rupture a ligament, you know, even even just a grade three tear, to to actually to to, rupt, to tear a ligament, the force that needs to be applied is just, you know, unfathomable. It, it, it's it's ridiculous. Two of us in class could not break it. You need to you need to slice it. You need to slice, 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 slice with a scalpel before you can even get through half of it. You know what I mean? So for these ligaments to be rupturing, it's like holy fuck, the force that must be applied for that to happen. Or the wear and tear over the years for that to happen. You know, either way, it's gotta be extreme. Really extreme. I just feel I just I just feel for him, man. I feel but, for him. Uh, you well, know, looks to be a lower body injury. Perhaps that right knee that he's clutching as he's going out of bounds. We'll listen in here to that the one. Uh, announcers uh, for just a moment. Went down. 
he thought he had the strength in his knee, man, and it just broke. Fuck. Okay. All right. We're nearly over. I've given my opinion on the re I've, I've given my opinion and my reaction to the injury. I've given my opinion and my reaction to his week one highlights. And what we're going to do finally is watch Pat McAfee giving his reaction to Saquon Barkley and his injury. So, with that being said, this will be the final clip of the day, and let's go. Let's dive into that a little bit. Yesterday, maybe the most injury-riddled day in the history of the NFL, especially the big names. There's more names rolling out this morning for more injuries. Christian McCaffrey out four to six. Cortland Sutton tore his ACL. Saquon Barkley tore his ACL. Is there anything else that we should know about or any other names that you're hearing that are potentially going to be dying for a little bit? Um, Lee Hooker tore his ACL. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. What else? I, I, literally, the list is so long, um, it's ridiculous. I... I uh, you know, I think Far the ones, obviously, um, you know, Saquon is, is done. Um, McCaffrey, I expect, you know, look, Matt Rule said he's not sure if he's going to put him on IR. He, I think he's going on short-term IR, uh, so McCaffrey will be down. Um, we're waiting on Solomon Thomas, but that sounds like it may be season-ending with Solomon look, Thomas. Look, I want to know about Barkley, not these guys. My close, like, it sounds like it. Let's get there early. Okay, so all these teams had to be prepared for COVID with a deeper pool of players that they could potentially pull from. But the players that got hurt yesterday are big name players. How right. did how from your conversations? How are the GMs reacting to this? How are teams react? Like, what are they going to do? There's some teams that are potentially very, very, very fucked. Like the Niners, for instance. Yeah. They are yes. in a potential very <laughs> bad spot here just after week two. Good it call. Is, it is nothing that they could potentially do about it. That's funny. There's man. nothing the Niners can do. And and Kyle Shanahan, you could come on, bro. Hold between the mental pieces, you know, from the fort earth, and so some of these people who waited and didn't have come fame game. And I'll tell you yeah. what, that thing was disgusting. And by tacky, I think they mean that their feet are from the sun and just cooked all the paint that was in there, and the uh, just stuck. Pat, Pat, you like talking just about as much as I do, okay? That title was clickbait as fuck. We're not talking about Saquon Barkley. You're talking about everything. So, anyways, guys, we're gonna call it there. That was my reaction. That's literally my reaction to Saquon Barkley in 2020. Wow. Wow we. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed. There's only one video left to do as far as the running back position goes. Specifically running back position, although, you know, in the top 100 players of 2020, I'm sure we're going to see a few running backs. But, not this guy. Maybe next year. This guy that's coming up is a beast. Uh, probably my I guess my, my favorite most exciting rookie definitely um, my favorite most exciting running back right now and I haven't seen him play one snap this year although apparently he's played pretty good and he's had some news about him <laughs> every single player like if, if each of these three top running backs that I've focused on Leonard Fournette obviously got traded that's his news then you got Saquon Barkley injured out for the season that's his news this next player Jonathan Taylor got promoted after the first week to starting running back now that's his news and I firmly believe before I even knew that I thought he was going to get offensive rookie of the year and I, I still believe that and we're about to see how he started the season I cannot wait so guys thank you so much for being here um, it's a beautiful day it's a great time to be alive and I, I want to wish you well have a great day I will too. Peace out.